Uh, okay. So as you can see here, we're at the, uh, here it is, the triple limited banner. Um, yeah, I don't know, this is pretty cool. Uh, just ba basically, probably go over some of the units. Maybe maybe I should do them in a separate video, but I think most people already have um, videos out there. I mean, especially since this banner hit, even before I, you know, if I make a summoning video, there's probably a bunch of people already um, telling you about how good this banner is and, and why you should pull them and not. Um, yeah, I mean, merges here aren't the same as like in Fire Emblem, where like the merge is actually part of the hero's like stats. You kind of just need a plus 10 hero to compete at the higher levels. You don't really need a plus 10. Um, you don't need them to be a plus 10. They, they add benefit beneficial stats and they're insanely helpful, but um, they're not necessary. Like the character, you're not like missing half the character because you don't have them at a plus 10, which is what um, in something in Fire Emblem it's kind of like. And as well as uh, for those of you who play Genshin. Uh, it's kind of like that too. It's not as bad, um, but the fact that there's like actual skills locked away behind merges is kind of sad. But you know, what is what it is. Um, yeah, but yeah. So let's uh, let's get in here. We're gonna summon. So my the game plan here is to hopefully um, get guiding lights. Basically, I want to have two copies of guiding light. A lot of people want to have more than that, but I think I'll be fine. Um, the, the the good thing is I can spend 100 coins and take the guiding light from here and then go to the powder shop and take that one and then we're solid right so really there's no losing here um you know I say that and then you know <laughs> we're not gonna get anything for 100 summons um but yeah so we'll see um depending on how many guiding lights I get or cerises I get we'll um we'll kind of you know we'll see where, where we go because those are my two priorities just cerise and guiding light um so if I get like multiple guiding lights and multiple cerises on the way to 100 then i'll probably just stop there but if not you know maybe i'll go a little further and try to get uh, a second copy of cerise as well but it's not that big an issue uh the rest of these land emerges are always good because they, they give you more damage um and the end is decent but i don't use her in enough content to really justify like pull it like to justify spending coins and and stuff on her, which is basically the bottom line. This artifacts is not too good right now. This one is not uh, is also not as good, um, but you know they could get buffed. So that's that's kind of something to consider. Is uh, guiding light was kind of underwhelming until they gave it like the you know first turn stealth, like no matter what at 100%. Um, so these two might get buffs. I'm not you know who knows. We'll see. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, so, you know, at least keep one copy of them. Fortunately, I have one copy of all of these, so uh, if they do get buffed, I'll be I'll be pretty solid. Except for Guiding Light, unfortunately, because it's the only one I couldn't get. Uh, but yeah, so let's get in here. Uh, we'll have two, I have one ML summon now. I got that from the tower, and then um, we'll probably summon enough to get another ML summon. Uh, and I got my 10 daily, so I guess we'll just do the dailies first. See if I get any, uh, basically the only thing I need from Covenant summons uh, is, ooh, it's lagging. It's pretty bad. Hopefully it doesn't stay like that. I don't want to have to do this all over again. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, the only thing I don't need anything from Covenants other than uh, like hopefully pulling an ML summon, an ML unit. And the only ML unit I need is uh, T Surin because I still don't have one. So hopefully she's in here somewhere in these ten. If not in the, um, hopefully she's in the ML summons. Um, the only other thing is I, it, it's kind of like. There's, there's obviously a lot of things I need from MLs, right? There's a lot of ML5s I need. Um, but the point of that being that I, I don't think I'm going to get any. Yeah, see, I'm not going to get any ML5s. ML4 is a little easier to get, uh, but even then we didn't get any ML3s at all. Um, so here we go. Uh, for ML5s, hopefully we might get from here. The only thing I, is, it, well, we're at a point where it's pretty good because either I get a new ML5, which is, you know, something I need. I probably, there's a, there's a few that I need, uh, ma namely um, ML Tywin. Um, but the the point being that if I don't get him, I can get a dupe ML5 and I'll have the 10 extra coins and by then I'll complete the 40 coins and then I can go get, um, you know, I can pick ML Tywin out of the shop if I want to. Um, or am I, am I, depending, because, She's coming in March. Um, what's her name? Um, Archdemon Shadow or, you know, ML Mercedes. ML Mercedes 2 Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> um, but so depending on how, how things go, we might get I might pull her uh, from that shop in um, in March when she's there. If like, you know, maybe she get buffs, maybe she'll like, you know, we'll see if she gets better. But the way she is now and the, what I've seen and 
Uh, I guess the, the lack of seeing her in any real meaningful content other than people just experimenting with it. Because she came out and people were making all these videos and then you go back to seeing people's just like regular RTA season and like how they play in RTA and no one's using her. So that's kind of something to keep in mind is that uh, don't buy into the hype. Now she still could be good, but you know, just something to consider. Uh, so yeah, enough. Let's stop delaying that. Uh, let's get in here. Uh, I feel like I should just do 10 summons just because it's not really that big a deal. Uh, because we know we're going to 100 to get the to get the, the tokens. Um, so, you know, what we get along the way doesn't matter, right? It's like, because if you do a 10 summon normally, and you pull it on the first summon, and then you did 9 extra summons for nothing, right? That, that, that kind of sucks. But in this case, we know we're going to 10 regardless of what we get, or yeah, to the 100 coins regardless of what we get. So getting the 10 isn't too big a deal. Uh, you get one coin per summon, yeah. So we're at seven. Oh, that's pretty cool too. I, I like this system a lot better. I feel um, like having the coins. I don't know. I mean, okay. Obviously, we all like it better because there's a chance that um, there's a chance that we'll get you know what we want from. Um, come on, come on, guiding light, please. Ah. There's a chance that we'll get what we want and still have the pity, right? So I, that's that's not what I mean though. Uh, I mean, it's 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 nice to have these coins that like it'd be cool if like in the normal one. So if you pity, uh, if you if you pull a, a unit before pity, then the pity resets, right? So it'd be cool if we had these coins where it's like, oh, every summon you get, you get a coin, and then it just reset, like it takes away all your coins once you pull the unit. Um, just as a good like, I don't have to leave here. I don't know. I don't know what what about these coins I was going on about. I think that was nah. <laughs> I don't know what, what that point was. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, like hopefully it isn't too bad. We get more of this, um, more tight, more stuff kind of like this. Uh, it'd be really cool, but I kind of doubt they'd be so generous. <laughs> uh, I, uh, SG, well, IS and SG are kind of like, they don't have the best track record these days, I feel. Oh man, if, let's see. Oof, we didn't get anything out of this. Um... Yeah, nothing. I'm going. I'm doing ten. I mean, normally you want to kind of stretch it out, but as, as those of you who know, uh, I tend to <laughs> uh, make my videos way too long, even when they. Uh, I try to make them short. Uh, let's take a look here. So I don't know why it showed us that. Okay. Uh, no artifact still. Uh, Wondrous potion. Come on. Nope. I need adamant shields is what I need. Um, I just don't have enough. I don't even have two max limit broken ones, which is kind of sad. Uh, okay, all the stuff is in the box. Cool. Yeah, so we didn't get anything. Come on. Nope, nothing. Uh, in terms of like, uh -oh. in terms of RGB units, that's actually one that I needed. Um, I need a bunch of Acades because I want to build ML Acades and uh, regular Acades. So, and you know, I need more uh, Angelicas. So basically, two healers are with the main thing I need. Um, there's nothing here. Let's go again. Wow, we're, we're see. <laughs> that's why you don't say things like that at the beginning of the video. You're not like, um, you don't say. <laughs> you're not supposed to say, "Oh, we can't lose here," because. <laughs> Most definitely can lose, um, but technically, I mean, it's like you know, it's one of those ones where like you're not losing necessarily; you're just not gaining as much as other people are gaining. Um, but yeah, I guess that's what I get for uh, saying that. Um, yeah, it's so not much here. Uh, Surin, I already have enough Surins to uh, triple S T Surin and my Fire Surin, <laughs> so uh, there's that. I actually wanted to build a Sid, but it's kind of hard to like want to do that. He doesn't have a whole lot of survivability, but I don't know. In RTA, uh, uh, well, there's more of these. I have a bunch of these. In RTA, you can run units that are less survivable, like him, uh, because you can't like you can't put him on a Guild War defense or an Arena defense because someone can just like come in, cleave, and then just like stop him. But the fact that you have some input or some say in how things are going down in RTA, like drafting and all that stuff. Uh, means you can kind of run squishier units and then they can still do what you want them to do, right? Uh, you know. 
So that's something to keep in mind is that like even someone like him is not totally worthless and oh come on please please don't give me the other ones I don't need any of them yes okay cool so basically there you go we, we at least we won to some degree uh, let's see what this is uh, water's origin uh, so that's cool we got a um, guiding light there Um, it's interesting because this feels a lot like bait. I mean, I'm kind of falling for the bait, right, by doing this, but it does feel a lot like bait because, um, you know, a lot of people are saying constantly that there's more, um, that there's a collab coming. Uh, what, um, come on, please, Cerise, at least one Cerise before we hit pity. Yes, cool. Okay, so basically I got everything I wanted from this. Um. So we're just gonna do this last ten and get out of here, cause like like I am in the middle of saying that we should be saving, the game gives me the ne the means by which to save. So very cool, and we got another one. Uh, th at this point, I I'll take any of them. Cerise preferably again, but Landy would be fine. <laughs> and then Dien was at the bottom, but that's okay. Um, yeah, that's all right. Come on, Adam and Shield. I just need one. I need one extra. That's all I need. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we have a DN merge. Uh, DN gives out attack, and she gives herself HP, which I think I'm gonna give her. I think it's best to give her the the concentration because um, she she she's not necessarily like depending on how you build her. And I really kind of agree with building her the way that um, for those of you who watch uh, Shuffles, he had a video on her. Uh, I, I like that that name. The way he he calls that series is really bad. Like the best whatever. And then to show you the best, he shows you his own units. As if he was like consistently first and second place uh, RTA. <laughs> um, I mean, he's high up there. Don't, don't get me wrong. I think I'm peeking my mic. Hopefully, I'm, that's not bothering you guys too much. I'm like looking at the little bar here and it keeps going. Um, let me should put it further away. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, uh, I like the series. I like the builds. I like looking at them. But whenever you look at builds like that, he's like, oh, this is the best, whatever. I feel like you should just use that as a jumping point, like a starting point. Like, oh, this is kind of what a decent one looks like. Because, I mean, to us, right, it, it's pretty good given... Um, I keep peeking the mic and I'm starting to bother myself with that. Hopefully it's not hurting you guys. Um, to us... Hold on, let me see if I can... To us, they, they look really good, right? But if they really were the best versions of those units, I mean, you'd probably be in, you know top 10 RTA consistently um, so they really aren't the best and there's a lot of wiggle room between there but anyway that's just sort of like and then I also kind of find it funny it's very like egotistical to, to be like oh this is the best one that's ever been or the best one out there and then he, like all of them have been his own units so far uh, and then the one time he didn't want to show his own unit was Cerise because one it wasn't that fast and two he didn't want people to know his speed because he is in fact not the best <laughs> because he needs to take every advantage he can um so that's kind of one of the things that's important to, to realize. Um, but anyway, the, those, those builds are pretty interesting. Um, and I've gr agreed with most of the builds. I'm actually going to switch over my, my Landy's on counter gear because I didn't have any like speed gear to put on her. Um, and I didn't have um, guiding light. But the, the, the main point I want to point out here is I really do like his DN build. I like her going first, sacrificing a few other stats just to make her go first um, in certain comps, right? Because she's not going to outspeed like a Cerise, uh, but you're not going to bring her into Cerise, right? You're not going to bring her into certain comps. So you want her to outspeed when you bring her in to things that you can safely assume she can outspeed. Uh, and that that's kind of what I think is good to go. So that's that's a long sort of roundabout way of saying, uh, trying to explain why I think that her self-imprint is best. Because she's already giving out the attack buff. So giving out more attack, like a, a pittance of more attack to people isn't too helpful. And a lot of times you bring her in with like tankier people, so you'll bring her in with like uh, Alencia or sometimes um, like a tight. Well, I bring her in with um, a, a uh, ML uh, ML Crow sometimes, uh, or I'll bring her in with uh, what, what's her name um, SSB a lot of the time, just because <laughs> that attack buff is no joke on her. Um, yeah, like I, I, I've like full healed off of like she like SSB is twenty five percent HP, and then she had the attack buff, and then she has three, and I've like full healed off of that some, uh, sometimes. But anyway, 
Um, you kind of want the HP on her. Uh, unfortunately, her health, her um, her health scaling, her shield scaling, and all that stuff. Like she doesn't scale off of herself, like her health at all. Nothing scales off her health. So you're not. It's not her health isn't pulling double duty. But I really do think you should kind of like. You want to make her as survivable as possible, um, because of the fact that you know you're going to sacrifice a lot of that survivability stats from her gear to make sure she's fast enough. And actually, I was experimenting with mine. I could actually make mine like 250 speed. Um, and, and basically hit the same stats he has. I mean, I think my health and defense are a little lower. Um, and the f -res I think, is... I don't remember how much f -res he had, but mine has like 50 f -res after I do that. Which isn't like the worst, but it's also not too good. Uh, but the bottom line is... Um, I, I really do think that build is, is the way to go on her. Uh, just to make her like as irritating as possible. Because, you know, spamming out that S2 shield all the time is just... <laughs> it's irritating as hell. Um, and it's hard to run like a... It's hard to run dedicated healers in RTA a lot of the time um, because they can just get sniped or chosen or picked out or whatever. But if you run her, not only is she irritating, uh, too, it's, it's kind of hard to like prioritize her as a ban when there's so many other things to ban. Um, like, that's the thing. It's like healers are in a weird spot where it's like, like, it's like Ruel, right? You're either doing your job so well that you're like Ruel, even though she's not up there anymore. But like, you know, you and I, we, we all, you know, a lot of us tend to ban Ruel, right? So that's kind of my point. It's like, Ruel is not like, she's not broken, but she's so good that like, you see her thing like, oh, I got to ban her because it's going to be a huge irritation. Um, but Deanne is, is equally as irritating, but she gets through a lot more. You tend to see her a lot, uh, especially because uh, nobody really kind of prioritizes her just because of the way uh, F10A and Cerise are kind of in the meta right now. And Basar is always there, so it's something to consider. But anyway, like I was saying, just I, I do think the self-imprint of, of health is, is the way to go with her. Because giving out a little bit of attack to extra units isn't wholly that useful. Um, but yeah, that's just my thought. Uh, how do I get out of here? Oh, <laughs> I was looking at the uh, OBS screen. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Uh, let's go back. Um... We have, let's see how many we have. We have nine, it takes six. I need three more, which means 30 more summons. Um, the thing is, you kind of have to like, let's go to the star shop here. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna, oh, actually, yeah, you can get all this stuff here, but I don't think any of that stuff is worth it. Let's go buy this, just to get this uh, arranged. Yeah, you can't just like buy it and like shove it into your um, uh, into your thing here. Um, fortunately, this is all just powder. Uh, I want to keep those. Actually, I I'm only keeping those because I <laughs> don't have a maxed one. As you can see here, this is like the only one I have because I used to just throw them away. Uh, th they're still not. I mean, I, I still don't value them very much. No one's running it, but it's like good to have. And I feel like you know. Yeah, it's, it's good to have, especially with that new artifact. Like, why run Oath Key when I can just run that new artifact um, from the guild shop? Which, actually, I think I'm just going to do that and, and get rid of these Oath Keys. Yeah, hit chance. Yeah, I'm just, you know, there's no point in maxing this when I can just max that other one and be fine. Um, a lot of people look at that. I don't know. I, I just look at it as, it as, like, a replacement to Oath Key. Like, hey, look, I have an Oath Key here. I'll just use that instead. Um, and most people who want to hit, a lot of times they want to do more damage, right? So... Go figure. Uh, let's go down here. Let's pick up this guiding light. Uh, I really don't think it's worth um, getting more coins unless you're gonna take, like for me anyway, uh, it's not worth me getting more coins unless I'm gonna take a Cerise, uh, which I might end up doing, but as you can see up there, I don't have a whole lot of uh, gems right now or Skystone. How much am I? Two, what's today, 24th? I have a week. Well, I have eight days, a little under a week. I have a week to um, try to get another pity, but like I said, I mean I can probably if I if I try it hard enough and maybe like grind it hard enough and and maybe bought a few packs. Um, but again, I mean I'm not free to play necessarily. I, I like to say I'm I'm decently free to play, but I'm I'm about as like, yeah. Anyway, um, I, the the problem is, is this is a really good opportunity to get like the most out of your Skystone because like summoning there's no other unit who's gonna you know be as strong as like if you if you were to go like unit per Skystone ratio you know Cerise is one of the stronger units to do that with so um yeah uh, I'm kind of regretting pulling on Politus because I haven't used her for anything at all um, but that's just kind of like it, it's important to realize to some degree that uh, let's get down here. 
sometimes we, we look at certain things we're like oh you know i haven't used this unit so they might not be good they are sometimes they are really good it's just that like you don't have the gear for them right now and you just got to kind of be patient with it and it's better to have them and not need them or not be able to use them than to want to use them or have the gear finally and then not have them so it's it's, it's usually better to like invest ahead of time um, and that's kind of something that uh, for those of you who know anything about um and, and you know actual you know monetary investments and, and and all that kind of stuff i mean i'm no expert or anything like that but it's just something to consider is that like it kind of mirrors that is like sometimes it's like it's better like take, take for example well I, let's not let's not uh, let's not do that now um but yeah so let's, let's do this uh, ml summon here Oop, cool um uh, i don't know what i could need out of this hopefully it's t Surin. um yeah so it's four star come on please i need t Surin. no <laughs> so many ox lots is already uh let's do the last one Actually, like I have, a, I have a bunch of oxalotses and I don't use them uh, because I don't have the speed gear to sacrifice to give him to make him fast enough. Because I could give him speed gear and then make him. Ugh, come on, get out of here! No, I don't want to buy this. Um, I could give him speed gear, make him like 240, but that's like I don't know. It's just like other people could use that gear uh, and make them just just like make. I could give him, concentrate a bunch of gear to him and make him decently fast, or I can just kind of like spread that gear around and kind of make a bunch of units just generally, you know, pretty speedy. Um, which is what I prefer to do. Uh, come on, Mercer, I need Mercer. Nope. So for three stars, I need Mercer. <laughs> for four stars, the hunt for uh, T. Surin continues, as it would seem. Uh, is there any other things I could do? No, I guess that's it. Um... I better cut this video uh, as soon as possible so it's not uh, too long. Uh, was there anything else I probably should point out here? No, that, I think that's about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, my ramblings during the summoning session. Um, like I said, I, I feel like once you hit once you hit 100 or 120, you know, whichever one is more important to you, whether it's Guiding Light or Cerise, um, you should like stop unless you can go for another 100 or another 20. Um, one of the things that I thought was kind of interesting is that I was like, oh, maybe I can just go for 200 summons instead. But, like, you can't buy Guiding Light again, which is the only other thing you'd want to get. Um, the units you can get as many as you want, which is pretty awesome. So, basically, you can just kind of, um, plus 15 them. Yeah. Um, you can kind of plus 15, you know, whatever unit you want here easier than you would otherwise. Um, yeah, like, significantly easier than you would otherwise, which is kind of what is tempting me to go back in. Um, but we'll see. I said, like I said, we have a week. Uh, I'll have to make a decision by then. I probably won't because it'll probably involve me spending money. Um, but given that, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, that's it for now. Um, like I said, I was going to do unit reviews, but, um, you know, for one, everybody's already reviewing the unit just as a, like, even without gear, they're reviewing the unit telling you about, you know, what the unit does and, and how valuable they are. And then if you want to, for those of you, I guess, who may or may not know, um, if you want to go and actually look at a good good example builds, um, again, I don't think they're the best, but I think they're pretty darn good. Um, you can go check out, um, you can go check out um, Shuffles' videos and uh, you'll, you'll get some pretty good starting points of, like, what you want to reach for. And in general, you can, you'll, you'll get, like, good i guess approximations is, is, a, is a thing to say like good like what you should aim for right so like if we look at dn uh i agree with the theory that you should make her fast right and that that's kind of what the main thing of that is it's like make her fast look at his example his example is hitting 240 and then you look at her defensive stats and you're like okay well i can make her decently fast and i can sacrifice these defenses and, and whatever right and that's kind of uh and, and she could still be tanky right and that's kind of what the takeaway from that message, from that video is, is like prioritize speed on her and then, you know, just kind of sprinkle whatever, you know, whatever other, you know, defensive stats you can get, you know, try to get them. But, you know, prioritize speed uh, first and foremost. And I think that's pretty good. Um, in terms of uh, Landy, I think it's the same thing is prioritize speed and damage. So with her, you don't want to go full speed like, you know, 200 and, you know, 50 speed or whatever. I mean, it's not wholly useful. But I think, you know, giving her a speed set, like, because right now there, there's two different landies, right? There's a kind of decently speedy landy, and then there's a, um, a counter landy. And I think counter landy's fallen off. I don't think anyone's using it other than, like, me and, like, two other people. Um, so that's something to consider for, for those of you out there. 
Um, but I like mine is still on counter gear because I didn't have the speed gear to, to give her and I didn't have the the guiding light which is kind of what's necessary for you to run a speed landy so she doesn't just get like murdered by a, a faster Rylet because you're not going to make her fast as Rylet you're going to make her like a little slower um, but still like you know about 200 speed is something you want to aim for his is 195 uh, but I think 200 speed is good to aim for mine can hit 200 speed pretty easily and still have like you know 3500 attack um, but yeah, so that's something to consider is, 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 is run it like that. Um, I think that's the best way to go. If you have guiding light, like I said, if you don't, I mean, she's going to take a bunch of hits. So you should probably, you probably should run the, um, <laughs> you probably should run the, uh, well, mine's on proof of valor cause she's on counter. So she can, you know, just be tanky and just, you know, fight everybody. But I think a faster landy will not only like, I think a faster landy is competitive, competitively better. Um, but a counter landy can still do a lot of work. I mean, I, I use her in RTA a lot, and, and you know she does a lot of work because they try to kill her, and um, <laughs> she has like a 50% counter rate. It's pretty ridiculous. Um, but with speed, not only is that pretty good, a uh, pretty good option for RTA in general with the stealth. Um, it's also going to be very good for those of you who uh, play a lot of just regular arena, right? Because in arena, having her slow and tanky is kind of dumb because they're not going to attack her. Like, a lot of times it's like you're not going to bring her into like a K-Ron because K-Ron's just going to one-shot her no matter how tanky she is. Well, not one-shot her, but you know what I mean? Uh, she's just going to demolish her. Um, but if she's not fast enough, she's not relevant. And, you know, in arena, in regular arena, speed is a lot more important because, of you know, you have time. You have to just kind of like pile in as much damage as you can before um, the lightning kills you. Uh, and having her speedy in that in that facet in that game mode is you know just infinitely better. It's like basically she's kind of like a pseudo cleave. You can kind of use her to to help like just wipe out teams in arena faster. And basically you know anything that speeds up your arena grinding <laughs> is always good in my book. Uh, so yeah, like I said, that was just the point I wanted to make was that. And of course uh, with Cerise, there's really not a whole lot to talk about. You just want to make her fast and high effective um, and tanky. So like personally, I think it's like. You want to run uh, health ring, health neck, uh, effectiveness ring, and then um, obviously speed boots. It's not obvious. Um, right now, I don't like her stats are kind of everywhere, but that's just because my speed gear isn't like doesn't have a whole lot of tuning going on. Um, but eventually, I mean, you just kind of want to make her as tanky as possible. Like I'm gonna drop uh, crit chance and crit damage um, for favor. Like anything that has high speed and it drops crit chance and crit damage, I'm just gonna drop them. Um, cause I don't really care about those stats anymore. Specifically for one, I mean, for one, she, like the faster she is, the more damage she's going to do. So like the fact, like, who cares if she's getting a little more crit damage on that one hit when you can just make her turn cycle faster and then hit someone twice. Right. You know what I mean? Um, and probably provide more utility by the fact that she is in fact going a lot faster. Um, and the fact that she can S1, uh, combo attack with someone kind of makes up for her damage. So she doesn't have to do as much damage, especially because if you're running confile, which I am. She defense breaks and then she just like dumps on somebody. Um, so that's something to consider is that like running her because yeah I don't know. I think some people like to look at her and be like, all right, let's give her some damage as well as all that stuff. But I think survivability is the name of the game with her because um, you know her and like one other unit can just take out an entire team if you're not careful. So you know, and not only that, she's also a huge priority whenever uh, someone's fighting. Like those of you who play RTA and who already have her, you know that uh, she's a huge priority like if you're fighting against her like you want to kill her as soon as possible and if um, you're using her I mean those of you should notice that a lot of people will target her uh, more than anyone else so that's something to consider um, I think so one of the, the biggest debates uh, for her and the meta right now is whether you run guiding light on her or confile um, well maybe maybe it's not that big a debate Maybe I, I mean I consider it a huge debate because it's it's really hard to it's really hard to 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 decide for me as it is anyway. I run around confile for now because I didn't have guiding light, but now that I have guiding lights, that's the question, isn't it? Like, do I want to do what? Should I be running the 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 guiding light on her to make her harder to kill? Um, yeah, I have no idea. Um, just because, like. Yeah, I don't know. Especially because, like, now she can't be countered by... Like, with Guiding Light, she won't be countered by um, Assassin Sid. And now Assassin Sid suddenly becomes useless in that draft. Um, but, you know, it depends on how, how afraid you are of Assassin Sid. But that's really her only, her only counter is 
um, Acid. Uh, other than that, I mean, uh, other than like Champion Zerato or something like that. But even then, you can kind of draft around Champion Zerato and just not bring a whole lot of other debuffs. Even though you're still going to get dumped on. But anyway. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it just like... It's one of those things that it's kind of hard to, to, to... It's kind of hard to decide. At least for me, it is anyway. Um, yeah, anyway. Uh enough delaying uh that'll be it for the video i think that's everything uh oh no actually i no did i have a thing yeah i forgot i almost forgot to do the last thing which is is it in here ah oh, here it is yeah uh this is the last day i was gonna do these summons yesterday so fortunately i i, I got kind of lazier or got kind of late and i was like uh, well i'll just do it tomorrow um i pulled i got this thing today so let's see what's in here uh, it's a five star it should be a five star right oh look i got ray uh, I didn't have them, so I'm always glad to get characters I don't have, but it's, it's kind of interesting. Um, the reason I'm kind of hesitant, I'm not, I mean, you know, he, he's a great unit, don't get me wrong, but he, to me, he's more of like a, a, a F2P sort of, you know, basically he's an easier to get, um, version of DJ Basar, uh. Which I have DJ Basar for those of you who already know, who already may or may not know. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of interesting to think about um, what I should do with him. I think I actually think maybe he's a little bit better because in a lot of drafts where you would bring DJ Basar, um, the, the 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 what's it called, the boost isn't as useful. But who knows? Um, Yeah, he, he, yeah, the cleanse and the immunity is pretty good. Oh, it's actually only two turns. Unless they're showing it to you unawakened. Does awakening give him three turns? I have no idea. I don't, I don't, I'm telling you, like, he's just DJ Basar to me, and I already have DJ Basar, so I've never really, I didn't pull for him when he came out for that very reason. Um. Yeah, and then he, he cleanses, a, he dispels a debuff with this. <laughs> This is kind of interesting because it's like the fact that he's using this to dispel debuffs means that this didn't um, do its job, which is give you immunity. I mean, of course, there's like stripping and all that kind of stuff involved, but like it's just one of those things where it's kind of interesting. I guess it's like a fail safe, so it's like we'll give everybody immunity, and if they don't, um, if that's not enough, then here we go. We got the, uh, we have this. Um, but yeah, so I mean, you know, this is definitely uh, pretty good. I'll, I might build him, um, but again, like I said, he's going to be clashing really hard with. Um, gonna be clashing really hard with DJ Basar. Actually, now that I think about it, I think I might go with him over DJ Basar. Yeah, I think that's I was I remember the other day thinking to myself that it's like he might be better just because uh seeing how high a priority uh F ten A is right now in the meta, uh he's grass. So F ten A her biggest weakness is she misses on grass. And I know this because I always pick um Alencia into F10A and it's like she just destroys her like there's not much uh, she can do especially because like she'll, she, a lot of times she'll miss and then she'll hit other people but then she'll hit that like um, her S2 off um, and that's like two chances to proc your mind's eye and basically you can you know basically you're you're, you're solid at that point because then you can just kill her with a, with S2 S1 into S2 and then you're, you're done <laughs> um, yeah that's kind of interesting one of the other things that I actually it is a part of that well, well we'll leave that for another time but yeah so like i said i, I might use them uh the, the fact that um she can miss on him is pretty advantageous i think um yeah actually i have a built yeah i have a bunch of stuff that i just built recently because of all the stuff that we've gotten uh but yeah so that's pretty cool um i don't think i'll make a showcase video on him because i don't really do videos like that it's kind of like i haven't actually done a guild war video in forever i mean i'm still doing guild wars obviously and, and we're still doing all right but uh, yeah, so that's that. Uh, hopefully, good luck on to you guys on um, on your pulls. I think uh, one of our guildmates already has <laughs> like a triple S. Uh, all three of them actually on the way. They were trying to get a. I think they were trying to get a triple S. That doesn't matter. They're trying to get a triple S uh, Cerise, but I think they got like triple S Landy instead. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's that. Um, yeah. Anyway, uh, I think the next video. I'm not sure what the next video will be. Um, I have to kind of sit down and really think about what I want to do with that, but. Yeah, till then.